Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Give It A Go. Today we're checking out a game called Tim Tim Swarm. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but what I think it is, it is... I don't know if some of you remember the game called Tim Tim, uh, which was uh, a so-called Pokemon clone that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, died even faster than Powell did. <laughs> Uh, and not reaching uh, Powell's uh, popularity. Um, but this feels like this is Tim Tim, but a survivor game. Uh, and by survivor, I mean a horde survivor game. But I'm not sure. So let's find out because it, it, there's teams. So how does that work? Party? Join party? What? Let's find out. So we play. Choose Tim Tim. We play with a little platypet. Uh, he has some abilities, traits. Gain damage for war thing. You know what? Let's go in. Let's go in blind. These stages. I might be completely wrong with what this is. No, waves. 15 minutes of mayhem. So maybe I'm not. <laughs> maybe I'm not. But I have to say, the art is amazing. Uh, move and aim. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So you can move with... Uh, your mouse, purely. It seems like the auto attacks. Does he auto attack? He attacks just wherever he wants to, by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure uh, how the attacks work, but it seems like he attacks wherever the hell he wants. Okay, area that extends around Tim Tim uh, deals counter damage. Yes, so give me something like that. You can actually damage the enemies here. Uh, because so far. You know, to increase uh, attack area. Yeah. Why not increase attack area? So, so far, this feels really, really solid. I have to say that. Sonar uh, increases attack area from 5 to 10. Sure. Uh, and what I mean by it feels solid is look at how smooth it runs. Look at how beautiful it looks. Uh, there's no jank. It feels like the, the developer, developers of Tim Tim, if this is the same guys that made this, uh, spent quite a while on this. This was, it doesn't seem like it was a, a rushed project just to get uh, on the Horde Survivor bandwagon or the Vampire Survivor likes bandwagon. Uh, increases absorption of area pickups. Uh, increase Tim Tim speed. Scratches near... Uh, see, I like this, but let's keep the, the upgrades that I have. Just focus a little bit on axing them. Uh, now, I don't seem to have a dash, which would be nice in the game. List. I do have an ultimate, pressing space. Okay, I'm going to release the mouse, because it does freak out the keys. Let's use my ultimate. <laughs> see, look at that attack, man. It looks beautiful. What is that uh, little cherry at top? Now I need the mouse, so maybe I sh uh, I'm not going to release the mouse. Uh, increasing the area? Yeah. Okay, now I see it. The, the cherry is an item that dropped. Well, these guys, uh, I th take it that they are water enemies. Or something. They don't take as much damage. Well, there's a cherry. Is the cherry a heal chest? Well, it looks like it. And there's also something down here. Uh, on the right. We got stars. Ouch. The ultimates take a long time to recharge. Kind of unfortunate. This is a fire enemy, so hopefully we do more damage to them. If it works like these type of games should. Enhancement. So, increase pansun gained. Pansun. Pansons. So, that's the currency, I take it. Uh, increase armor, probably more important now than random currency it's a whole shit ton oh this seems like a elite guy you're gonna drop something if it did uh, I missed it <laughs> I'm so used to getting a chest when something like that drops increase the fire rate of the key field sure getting more hits in per second also helps uh, again I'm walking towards this Got distracted. The wave attack uh, seems really bad. <laughs> I have to say it. 
it seems to attack wherever it wants. Uh, I gotta freeze this by the looks of it. Because everyone is frozen. Ouch. It just walked straight into that enemy. Just trying to focus on where I'm going first. Ouch again. Ooh, another elite guy. This guy has got way more health. It also seems like an electric type. Again, I haven't played Tim Tim at all. Got no idea um, what any of the characters are, are. I just know the gist of it. Uh, that is uh, sort of like a Pokemon clone. And ooh, making see where have the damage is enemy and a, ra a random enemy, but it doesn't always attack an enemy. It's more like a random. Uh, what is it? Direction by itself. It's just. Ooh, did I get all? Oh, I did get all. Nice. Not gonna complain. Just wanna take out this guy quickly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Again, I accidentally clicked there. I've got clicking moves character actually in that direction. I'm taking a lot of damage here. There we go. Another chest. Evolution, so I can evolve. Uh, well, obviously I'm gonna evolve. Now see, this makes for exciting gameplay. Now you're evolving your characters. Oh, baby. Because I'm a stronger platypus duck. <laughs> Don't mess with me now, boys. We had pan sons. It's going to charge through. Okay, so what uh, is this? Do I have to destroy this? Ooh, what, what the hell is that? Again, only having an aura as attack <laughs> does not seem like a good thing to a uh, harmful water projectile. Okay, let's take this as an attack. Because only having an, a single aura for an attack uh, seems like a really bad idea. Uh, this is a freeze disc again, isn't it? Nope. I don't know what that disc was, but it didn't, definitely didn't freeze them. Again, just... Hydro Turbine increases the damage of all water type techniques by 10%. Sure. I think that's all that I have, right? Does this also count in water, or is that uh, normal? It is also max level by the looks of it. Since it has star. Now, if this is like uh, the Pokemon clone games... I think this Platyduck thing is gonna evolve one more time. Whoa. Ooh. The poison, poison thing. Poison toad. Oh, see, again, and that would be nice to have a, a dodge there. Stay in the summoning circle. I'm first gonna take this guy out, man. Feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. I don't have my ultimate uh, anymore, but shouldn't matter. Just stay close to him. I can easily dodge that attack. Oh, and he swipes at the end of it, but he's dead. See, he gives the same chest that I got from the other one, and this is by far more difficult. Uh, well, a stronger enemy, I should say. Not more difficult. It was actually easier for me. But the other guy just seemed like an elite. This, that seems like a boss. Ooh. More area or... Hey, let's increase this. So let's go stand. Ooh, what is this? Poison. Poison everyone? Poison anyone that gets near me. What did that do? The other one summoned that tower that I had to destroy. This one seems to do nothing uh, except that purple cube. Troll. Increase the number of enemy projectiles pierced before they disappearing. Now, I don't think it affects uh, his projectiles, but maybe I'm wrong. And it would be too late to figure out. Oh, I've got to replace it with something. At least it gives you the option to replace it. Increases my speed. Sure. Uh, 
at least this gives you the option to replace it. Normally, uh, games like this just uh, doesn't give you an option. So if you're full, it's just too late. You can't pick anything anymore. So, uh, okay, uh, you can see at the top what what uh, affects what. So this does not affect my aura. But it does affect the, the other one. And this gets affected by two things, so might as well. So I think I already screwed up my build uh, by not knowing that. So where am I going? Uh, oh, there's a green crystal. But again, I've got no idea now where to go. I don't see anything. But I might be blind. <laughs> oh yes, I am blind. Look at the top left. We're going there. Now, level 16, almost. This would normally be the first level uh, of evolution. Oh, there's a, a peach that side. Wave Water Blade. Now, the only way this can be actually good if uh, is if the blade actually... No, this affects everything. If the blade actually uh, grew wider. Uh, the wave, I mean. Like if it's half... Or well, a quarter of the screen wide. Then it would be actually useful if it actually just attacks a random enemy. But so far it's been kind of shit. And it's starting attack. Which is unfortunate. There is a little yellow guy. I'll try and... Get him, get him uh, taken care of. If I can actually survive through this chaos. Enemies are stronger than I'd uh, hoped for. It's these guys, these little electric guys. I take it to the electric. At least. Hydro turbine, more damage for water attacks. Uh, or. You see, water blade gets a big area. But that's the newer one. That's not the old crap attack. A lot of green crystals. I'm just quickly picking up these cubes. And then we're going to continue. Ooh, another water blade. There's one extra projectile. Sure. Let's see how it, uh, what it looks like now. And now I'm doing way more... Uh, water damage. Look at that. Almost constant as I move. Ouch. Uh, where is the summoning portal thing? Almost there. Almost there. Well, there's another one close by. Two of these enemies again. They do drop chests, so I will try and just brute force them, even though they do a shit ton of damage. Again, it would be nice if I can actually <laughs> attack them. It does seem the blade uh, attacks forward, which is not good if I want to attack an enemy that I'm uh, kind of currently running away from. Let's try and just turn around a little bit. One of the guys had to die already. I only see one of them. Uh, 45 band, max level? Is this max level? Whatever. Still can do one more attack. He goes. And he didn't drop chest. Okay, so I didn't miss it, he just didn't drop the chest. Oh, I accidentally pressed space uh, at the wrong time. And as I said, the ultimate is such a long cooldown. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't leave the control area for... Oh, I'm gonna die if I stay in this crap area. This is a terrible, terrible mission. It's not worth it. Legend. Sure. Gonna need all the <laughs> health I can get. I got everything leveled there. Actually, double sonar. My 
tower is already pretty big. Uh, I need to get out of here, man. Uh, there's another boss spawned. I see you up there. Whoa. I'm dead. That was not fair. He came blasting in and homing on me. Oh well. Chipanku. And I was a Pladox. So let's see. Most of the damage was done by my key field and the water blade. We well, did pretty good, man. Uh, for something that's attacking the random direction. And, and only three times used the tsunami. The cooldown on the tsunami is just way too long. It's basically useless. And I achieved a lot. <laughs> I don't know what it, you know what this means, uh, but it seems new. Ulcer, feature, cool technique. So let's see what the hell this means. Completed kudos, available kudos. What uh, does any of this mean? Again, I didn't play Temtem, so I've got no idea. We've got kudos. Mm, okay. So Platypet is what I had, right? Yes, so there's... Certain abilities you can get. Oh my god, man, I don't know what this is. This is like opening Path of Exile sc uh, skill tree for this first time. Chipanku. So I completed this, so... But these are... Achievements? Got a lot of wave. Maybe there are achievements, that's why it's kudos, because kudos is usually... Like a congratulations. Kills. Holy moly. And each of the characters have their own skill tree. So unfortunately it doesn't, maybe it's only for the demo that there's no, no other Tims, but um, let's see, damage 10% or 215 life, 5%. This is luck probably, right? Luck 10. Cooldown, yes. Area, pierce, more cooldown, Tim speed. Armor. This seems freaking in depth for uh, such, <laughs> I want to say, a basic game. But anyway, I think I'm going to end there. This game seems freaking really good. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. Again, uh, the devs must have spent quite some time developing this and not just rush it to get, uh, as I said earlier, on the bandwagon of this. Because even though most people are already put off by a lot of survivor likes um this seems fresh you get evolution of the character itself uh, each one has their own skill tree uh where you can get uh, perma upgrades there's whatever this is <laughs> and look at all the, the characters you can play where, where is it again look at all the characters there's these 12 13 at least so yeah i think i'm gonna end it there but i'm really excited to see what uh, happens to Timtim swarm uh, it seems really great <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching let's give it a go uh, of Timtim swarm as soon as the game comes out i might give it a little let's give it a go again and we'll see how it develops because this seems really good. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. This is a game to look out for, man. It might even be better than the original Temtem. That's, uh, you, you heard me say it, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next. Let's give it a go. Goodbye.